hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing my mom's hair okay yeah so i'm gonna do her hair and her skincare routine for the evening so this is basically how she looks right now uh, i just wanted to show you what the hair is looking like this hair is from amazon okay so if you or if you are interested in this hair then link will be listed below but as you can see i just decided to go ahead and do the rubber band method just because this is supposed to be a diy uh hairstyle so this is pretty much what i did on my own hair if you want to see the video of me installing my own uh box braids like detailed video guys you can check the link to the right of your screen okie dokie so let's begin so basically as you can see we went ahead and we did all ponytails and we are finished okay i'm just going to use some edge control to really sleek down the hair a little bit right here i'm showing you the hair measuring a piece of the hair against her natural hair to ensure that i have the same thickness then i'm going to wrap that little piece around the thicker piece uh-huh like that and then we're going to pretend as as if we're going to braid the piece that i measured against her hair that's the piece i'm holding on to with my index finger and then i go in and plait as if as i said before i am braiding or cornrowing my hair i should say and uh, that's pretty much it guys like guys if also if you want a detailed video on how i do um my braids as i said before a link is going to be listed uh in a card yes yeah, so basically as i said before just go in with the edge control to really allow the hair to be sleek measure the hair and then wrap it around the thicker piece of hair that's the stretched hair and then i'm just going to grab onto the hair plus her natural hair and plait as if i am doing a braid and then or a cornrow and then i just plait as usual and that's pretty much how we use the rubber band method to install um box braids okay and as i said before i don't know if i said it but this hair even though it might look pink it's more rose gold yeah it's coming off a little bit pinker on camera i don't know because of the lights but it's rose gold yeah it has a nice color and i think this is her first time with this color or yeah this type of color here i think she she has worn like burgundy and a little bit of blonde brownish you know but never like rose gold but this is the texture of the hair it's very nice when you just look at the hair 
it, it's not as uh, um what do you say no thick as opposed to let's say expression here it's not it's it has a total different texture it feels really really soft okay yeah it feels very very soft so this is just basically what i'm doing and as i said before oh i stretched the hair before i actually install it okay and uh, can you see i'm doing a cornrow basically a cornrow pretending as if i'm doing a cornrow and then i start then i start <laughs> and then i start um plaiting the hair or braiding the hair and that's pretty much it uh i'm just going to go over the procedure again yeah and it this is so easy like guys this is actually an actual ec an, an excellent diy you know i just found out something about myself i think i was watching two of my videos and i realized that i say actually a lot and i need to stop but this is a hair guys isn't it beautiful it's so pretty it's an ombre kind of hair so see me i just wanted to show you how i wrap the hair around so i just hold on to the hair as if i am doing a corner and i just grab onto the natural her natural hair okay i'll be right back Okie dokie, so now guys we're going to I'm going to show you the next step or the next piece of hair. So for example, this piece of hair is extremely thick. Okay? So it means that I'm going to have to separate it. Separate it. So I'm going to create three strands. Remember the side of her hair? The hair was li a little bit thin, so I could like use the edge control to straighten it a bit. Now this one is a little bit too thick. So what I'm going to do, separate it. I'm going to measure a strand of hair against her natural hair. Actually, this is a stretched hair. So I'm going to take that now with a thick piece of hair. I'm going to double the thickness of one piece of the hair and then wrap this thinner piece around the, the piece that is not, um, that is thick, the thicker piece, I should say, to create the three strand, all right? And the piece that I wrapped around the hair, I'm going to grab onto that with my thumb and my pointer finger. Okay? So I'm going to grab onto that with my thumb and my pointer finger. There we go. And then we're going to put it. We're going to put it on top of the hair. So I'm sure you I'm sure I, I don't think you can quite see. But 
I'm going to put that onto the hair the same way. The same way uh, how the hair is um, separated into three strands. I'm going to put it onto the hair the same way. So look, that's one strand. Okay. Okay. Good. And the second strand, I ha I'm holding onto it. The middle strand i should say i'm holding on to, onto it with onto it with my pointer finger my thumb and then i'm just going to pretend as if i'm going to do a corn roll so as you can see middle strand i have that with my pointer finger and my thumb the end strand now i'm trying to because uh, i'm trying to show you i'm going to hold on to that now with my next hand all right and then we're going to do the corner right now see i'm not sure if you are understanding but uh, this is basically how i do it see and then i just pretend that as if i'm doing a corner and this is how it would look after i'm finished see nice i love this color it's so nice good and then we're just going to basically do the same thing to the hair guys the pieces of hair that is um like not too thick i don't have to separate them so later on i i'm going to realize that i don't really have to separate this one because it is already um it is thin enough you know what i'm saying yes i will just use the edge control to just straighten it out a bit so it's easier to like manage all right so I'm just going to twist it right now. Do the same thing that I did earlier. Guys, I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself really like good, but you get it. You wanna get it. You wanna get it. Don't wanna get it. You wanna understand. If you don't want a detailed tutorial, guys. If you guys want a detailed tutorial, please check the link to the right of your screen. Okay? But just enjoy the rest of this video because oh my gosh, it's so hard to explain like what I am doing. Alright, just follow, just follow. And if you want a detailed tutorial, as I said before, link to the right of Uno screen. Alright? Big up on yourself. We'll soon come back with a skincare portion. Okay?
okay guys so this is it i'm just gonna do her edges again just to brush it and just to brush it in all of them good stuff yeah <laughs> i think she really really love like the hairstyle i think she likes the fact that it has a little bit of color yeah i think she really really likes it but yeah she's not she's not really saying it but she, i know she likes it she likes it she likes it really bad yeah but just fixing up the edges and so forth and uh, that should complete everything i'm going to hot water it later on in the video but now we're going to move on to skincare so just stay tuned for that i'll be right back Okay guys, so we're going to do her skincare and I'm gonna go in with my oil cleanser. Yes, she has, when she was younger, she used to have like acne, like blackheads, a lot of blackheads, you know, and she didn't really have like an, what do you say, you know, a strict skincare routine or anything like that. She just had like her cleanser and I think she I had like a moisturizer like back in the days. And or I don't think it was popular. Sometimes she used to use a mask. But I'm just going to use my Pharmax um, Deep Well, maybe she had a skincare cleanser, routine. But and I'm nothing just going like to oil be nice and anything like that. Because her skin is like, like very soft. Thing. Like compared to mine, my skin is like tough. Her skin is like very soft. And uh, maybe it's because she's getting older. But it's very soft. So she's nice and fresh gonna go in with my Rovectin gentle deep cleansing um, uh, moisturizer she was just laughing because it's like finished but I told her like I don't have any more well actually I have another bat bottle but I didn't want to open it so this is the reason why I used this one so I just wanted to empty it because her skin was actually clean like just with the oil cleanser it's weird that her skin is like I don't know but yeah i'm just gonna use a cleanser now to cleanse her skin yes she has a specific cleanser that she uses but today i told her that i'm gonna do her skincare routine so yeah so i'm just going to rub it and cleanse the areas guys it's a little bit awkward like like doing her skin because i don't know because of the position that she, like she's sitting and just my hands i don't know how to rub it in a way that is um correct i should say yeah but i'm gonna go in my isn't tree green tea fresh toner because i love it so much it's very calm and hydrating and this is the routine that i'm giving her is a calming hydrating moisturizing routine because that's mainly what i think her skin needs she has like blackheads and so forth but that's for a different day and I was being gentle guys um, the reason why it looks that way is because I'm speeding up so right now I'm gonna go in with an essence this is a Pyong Kang Yolu so she's the first person to use it which is not bad but yeah I haven't reviewed this as yet and the next one that I'm going to try on her 
is the Purita Centella Unscented um, Serum, Centella Asiatica, because as I said before, this routine is mainly about hydration. Then I'm going to give her a little bit of the Ordinary Eye Serum. She really loves eye serums, not sure why, because she says that um, she sees a little darkness under her eyes and so forth. So yeah, she. I'm going to get one of the eye serums for her and so forth but she really loves the eye serum because this is not the first time i'm using it on her and she's like i like it i like it like i need one of those so i'm going to get one for her she normally uses her like regular moisturizer but i think she needs an eye serum i don't know she thinks she needs one so yeah i'm going to give it to her order some for her but yeah i'm just applying the eye serum and her skin it loves moisture her skin loves moisture. I don't know. It feels so soft. Her skin is so soft. And then it's, this is the Cosar X um, Propolis uh, Light Royal Jelly Cream. The same one that I'm using. I just wanted her to try it out to see if she liked it and so forth. So I'm just massaging it onto her skin and so forth and uh, yeah as i said before it's a little bit awkward doing her skincare routine because my hands feel weird and i don't know how to like stand and just massage the products into her skin but i think uh eventually i'm going to do a skincare a full exfoliating skincare routine on her but i think i want to do it when she's laying down because i think it's going to be a little bit better but that's for future but i just applied the products and i think that she really enjoyed it it felt good i think she really liked like the moisturizer the serums and the eye cream she said that the serums were sticky but i'm sure she enjoyed it so as you can see she's glowing oh and the headbands and i got some headbands with this um hair i'm gonna show you a little clip of the headbands they're so cute yeah so i'm gonna give her like a headband so she can wear when the hairstyle is getting like stale but this is it really really nice and she really and she's like glowing look at her forehead look at the forehead shine oh my gosh i don't have forehead shine but that's because her skin loves moisture yes her skin loves moisture so what i think she needs right now is mainly like for blackhead and i don't really think that she have a lot of blackheads but just the blackhead because she has like acne prone skin and she's not really having any acne it's more of like texture and acne yeah texture and acne plus hydration that's what she needs so this is it guys i'm just going to give you like some slow-mo so just Stay watching, she's just glowing.